UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. To get a start, here gentlemen, is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Jean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy to Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kelly. And now we introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Ooh, watch the shot. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Good punch, Lance. All right, single collar tie now. Check that kick as well. 
Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time he lands it so effectively? That's a big strike right there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Oh, straight right. Knee to the body. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Good fight here, under two to go. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Big kick lands. Straight right, he misses. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Kelly. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he lands the knee to the body now. Look at the turnover in that kick. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Nice punch land over the top. Just a slip there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. the right hand. Well, we told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. That beautiful body could land right under the elbow. Lee's punch to the body rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. He loaded up there on that high kick. that jab he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks oh and a nice jab by him there and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing he's having this tough oh. man he's hurt bad he's hurt bad John he's got a pressure he's got to go change that fence down Starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he is. Oh, oh, tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut rate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he misses with the one. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Ooh. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. 
I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. Head kick. Good shot, good shot. Big and kick. Liver kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready, fight. Ready. Third round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Misses with that big right hand. Nice punch there by Kelly. Over three minutes to go now. Wow. He got a bad. Back to the feet. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. But Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kelly. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight.